Hi, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing something a little bit different, okay? Not only am I doing something a little bit different with my look, but the video itself is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, your girl already has her makeup all done. That's because today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reacting to some ghosts caught on camera. I felt like getting cute today and giving a whole poison ivy type of look. I was wearing my Batman shirt and honestly I was just kind of just feeling a little feeling a little playful with my look so I just did my makeup and I've been wanting to wear this wig again because this is my absolute favorite wig that I own. I'm giving very poison ivy vibes and I'm really living for it. Hence why I went with the green light today and then my usual plants in the background. So I feel like it was just very fitting. Just something a little fun, a little different. So let's hop right in. Okay, so this is the setup we're going to try with. Now, two things. One, um, I'm going to have my glasses on because I want to be able to fully see what I'm watching. Um, yes, there's probably going to be a glare as you can see there on my glasses. I'm sorry. I'll work on it for next time. For this reaction, I'm going to be reacting to Nuke's top 10, top 10 scary ghost videos to give you the bubble guts. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Oh, I'm scared. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. The Watcher. In oh, Japan, no. an anonymous man travels to a remote area of the Japanese countryside in search of adventure. He says that he has read creepy stories online that talk about the location of an allegedly haunted house on this mountain. Oh, and no. he plans to find it. Okay, first of all, <laughs> going in search of haunted things is a recipe for disaster. You will not... Mm, I mean, I do want to investigate haunted places, but nothing that's going to also put me at risk, like going to abandoned, like, buildings and I don't know. Unless I'm with, like, a full-ass, like, team of people and I have permission to be there and it's been locked down and I know that there's not going to be actual people in any of these places because the videos of people that go into, like, abandon things and it's not so much ghosts that scare them it's the fact that there are people actual physical people that are there that scares me more so that this is already mistake number one going in search of something you shouldn't be searching for eventually the lone explorer actually does find the old decaying house and makes his way inside. Oh no. He immediately notices that someone has hung several paper talismans on the wall. Uh -oh. In many Japanese religions, these talismans are believed to ward off evil spirits. That should be comforting, but that's not comforting at all. Yeah, that is scary. Exactly, something must have happened there. Oh, God. Maggot. Something must the have house died there. is a decaying wreck. And in one room, there are hundreds of disgusting maggots crawling all over the floor. You better hope it was just an animal, bro. a horrible bro. odor coming from somewhere nearby and goes to investigate. I swear to God. What next? I swear to God. downright chilling. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 don't open it. Ah! Don't, 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 don't. See, I'm so, I'm such a wuss. I'm such a wuss. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Was that? Was something moving? Fuck. My heart beat, dude. My heart. My heart rate. Did you see it? As he hurries out of the bathroom, a terrifying face can be seen staring directly at him through a window. The man has no idea what he has just recorded, but he gets an overwhelming feeling that he just needs to get out of there. Oh no. So could it be no. That someone passed no. away inside the old home <laughs> no. and an angry spirit never left? That does not look like an angry spirit, bro. That this? looks like somebody hidden behind, like, in the window, staring. 
ooh, and they're like wide eyed too. Like they look like they're like, mm, I can't even speak my heart rate. Okay. Let me calm down. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that does not look like a ghost. That looks like a person that is watching him. And so the minute he turned and he noticed like the guy who's hiding noticed that his light show like was shining on him. He was like, Oh shit. He's like, did, does he see me? Like that's, that's the, that's the look that was, that's the look that was. This is number 10 and I'm having this much of a fit shadow of doubt. Oh God. Okay. A family in California says that they have experienced many strange, unexplained things since the day they moved into their new home. Oh, no. They've heard voices, lights turn on and off for no reason. And they frequently hear unexplained loud banging. Oh, so one man. night as the family husband and father lays watching TV in the bed, their CCTV camera picks up sudden motion and begins to record. When they review the footage, they are shocked. Oh no. Oh! What? It didn't even pick up that motion. A shadow like figure seems to quickly dart out of the room. The family has no idea who or what this creepy dark figure could be. And whatever it was, it didn't even make a sound. To this day, the mysterious footage remains unexplained. Yo! Not gonna lie, this is one of the reasons why I am so terrified at the idea of having like security cameras in my house or something. Like I understand obviously the security purposes of it, but it's things like this because I would rather, in some ways, ignorance really is bliss and I would much rather live not knowing if there are crazy ghosts and like crazy activity going on in my apartment or in my house or whatever than to see this because i mm. quiet stretch of highway near the city of campo Grande that some say is cursed despite the fact that this short section of brazilian highway 262 is a relatively quiet drive many people have lost their lives in mysterious car crashes on this road you see for some unknown reason the drivers simply lost control of their vehicle veering off the road or even flipping their car that's so on sad. may 30th at around 2 a.m a truck ran off the road on the same stretch of brazilian highway 262 and a passenger lost his life mm. a tv news crew shows up to film the gory wreckage for the local news but when they broadcast the footage, viewers quickly point out that the TV news cameras accidentally caught something else. Something truly bizarre. Ali na saída para Três Lagoas, esta caminhonete capotou e um idoso morreu na hora. Did you see it? Wait. The pale face of a young child seems to appear out of nowhere behind the mangled truck. First at the back, then quickly peeking through the front window. Now, keep in mind, this video was filmed at around 3 a.m. So why would a child be wandering the highway near a gory wrecked truck so late at night? Things get even stranger. Because two years before this crash, another local TV news station reported a wreck very similar to this one. On this exact same stretch of road, a truck that looked just like this one crashed in the same way. No. And in that wreck, an eight-year-old boy tragically lost his life. Oh. Dentro da caminhonete estavam seis pessoas, entre elas uma criança de 8 anos que morreu na hora. So is this the restless spirit of the boy who passed away in a very similar accident? Oh my god, that one's really sad, dude. Oh my god. Okay, the the ghost figure that definitely looks like an 8-year-old boy or it looks like a little boy of some sort i mean i i think that one looks pretty legit like it looks straight up like a little boy like it's not some mistake of like oh maybe that's an officer still at the scene like looking around like no that looks like a kid that looks like a little boy you know thrilling thrift jesse from the youtube channel thrift school records his trips to local thrift stores and then shows how it's possible to make some extra money by finding cheap secondhand products and reselling them online one day, he goes to the local Goodwill and films a new video. But when he uploads the footage to YouTube, his viewers are shocked. 
it seems that Jesse caught something very downright creepy. And that's one good thing about doing this for so many years. I kind of know just by looking, right? I don't have to scan every single one of these things. Now, <gasps> prices always fluctuate, so I always recommend scanning everything. And did you see it? When Jesse pulls out a shiny CD case to take a better look, the reflection of a smiling woman can be seen right behind him. Now, Jesse was all alone that day, and as he turns around, no one there. And there's video proof that Jesse was alone. As he enters the store, we see his lone reflection in the glass. But the really weird thing here is, when Jesse first pulls out the CD case, there's no one in the reflection. Whoever this woman is, she just suddenly appears and then disappears out of thin air. Jesse. Yo. That's kind of creepy, dude. I mean, I was going to say, like, oh, or, or we, how do we know for sure he wasn't, like, with his girlfriend or something? Um, you know, just assuming. Or, like, just another female just so happened to, like, come up. Although, even if it was, like, a stranger or even someone he was with, why would she stand right behind him smiling as if she knew her reflection was going to be caught on the CD case? You know what I mean? Interesting. Himself replied to the shock comments on his video and said that even he finds the creepy sudden appearance, quote, pretty scary. Yeah. But what do you think? Did Jesse capture a ghost at the Goodwill? And why that is, is she scary. smiling? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That is pretty scary. Paranormal puppies. <gasps> puppies. In this very quick video from an unknown source, a dog seems to hear something inside a room and scratches at the door. It did not go well. Oh no. Oh. A strange whiteness <gasps> seems to float right through the door, and the dog wants no part of it. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Because we all, okay, I think it's a pretty good consensus that dog, like, animals and kids are like in tune with the, the paranormal and spiritual stuff right you literally see like a dog barking at a door and all of a sudden something comes out and the dog's like oh my god like what are you or like you know just like caught off guard like i don't you know, even if let's say the blur that popped through was like a glitch or a glare why did the dog react to it then? And like perfectly on time too. In this next clip, sent in by Newt's top five viewer, Anita Barella, a man says that he has seen and heard some strange paranormal things around his home. And now it seems oh. like the ghost might be messing with his dog too. Okay, they're giving a second dog related one. Wait, what? As the dog is chewing on its toy, something seems to rip the chew toy right out of its mouth and fling it across the room. What? Now, I think we can all agree here. Ghost haunting and terrifying humans, that's just good entertainment. But leave the doggos alone, ghosts. Yes. That's my statement. Leave the poor doggies alone. Not gonna lie, so I, like I, I've mentioned on my channel before, I have a cat. I do want to get a dog one day too. Um, I have a cat and sometimes this bitch will all of a sudden like, you know, like just pipe up and stare at something hella intensely. Like, and it always freaks me out because I'm always like, yo, dude, like if there's something here, please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> the thing in the shed. Oh, God. Alexei Chiripanov from the YouTube channel Traverza lives in the remote countryside of Russia. After some odd experiences, Alexei believes that some strange person or thing might be living in the woods near his home. Late one night, he starts to hear strange noises, the sound of banging and movement from his shed outside. Okay, I respect these people for being brave enough to go and investigate noises like this. But I'm not that one. 
If I heard banging coming from a shed that I own when it could be an animal, obviously, but I'm calling somebody, whether it's my boyfriend, whether it's my mom, whether it's the police and being like, yo, I'm not opening it, but someone needs to figure out what's going on, but it ain't going to be me because I ain't trying to die. <laughs> if the moral of all of this is I'm not trying to die. Um, sorry. First mistake right here. Don't he go looking out into to the investigate, shed. Filming with his phone in hopes of capturing evidence. Dude, why is it? Why does it look like that? Dude, you need to take better care of your shed, sir. Don't yell at it. Don't. What? Hey! Ooh. Ew, wait, is that the noise coming from whatever's in the shed? Stop throwing Oh fuck no. Dude. No. No. Stop. Stop. Stop! <laughs> Judging by the strange screeches, Alexei now begins to wonder if he might be dealing with some kind of strange creature. He looks into the shed's side window to get a better look, and his blood runs cold. No. Oh no. Oh no. Absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck not. I don't want to see it. I don't- I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it! I don't want to see it! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm such a wimp! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be okay, Hannah. It's- we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're gonna be okay. It's moving the stick! He sees someone or something peeking back at him <gasps> from inside the shed. Oh, I didn't even something see that. Glowing eyes. But Alexi's encounter real or just part of some elaborate ARG? You decide. It also looks like it could just be a person in like a black hoodie, low key. So I really don't know. And also the noise. I've never heard a ghost or anything paranormal make that kind of like a yipping noise. Like that sounds like someone trying to sound creepy um and especially the fact that they were moving so much stuff around like i feel like if it was actually like a ghost or something they wouldn't be moving so much stuff around like they threw multiple things at him and they moved this big ass um i keep wanting to call it a stick but i <sighs> whatever this big ass beam there we go a wooden beam that looks like it fell i don't know if it was already sticking out of the window or if the this the creature stuck it out the window and was like fucking with it but i don't know but i will be honest it freaked me out because this shed looks terrifying so even if it is fake good job because you scared me for sure like Another reason I definitely would not go investigating because this shed looks terrifying. This looks like a place you would end up getting murdered in. So, I mean, I guess good job no matter what, but I don't necessarily think this is 100% real in the sense that it's a ghost. If it is real, I think it's either a person or some creepy ass creature, like a some kind of animal or something. Um, but I don't think it's a ghost necessarily. The gin. This next video is a bit of a mystery as I've been unable to find the source. The video seems to be recorded by a CCTV camera situated in a mosque during prayer time. A dark figure suddenly runs across the room and disappears right through a wall. Some believe this mysterious apparition to be a djinn, 
a supernatural creature believed to be a spirit or demon. But Yo. what do you think? Okay. I know that one's like a really quick one, but I think I believe it. Because since it's at a mosque, so it's this is like a religious th like ceremony or just prayers going on right now. You got to be pretty fucked up to try to make some like paranormal ish out of this. Like you could have picked anything. You could have picked a grocery store, a gas station, just security footage outside of a building, but you picked people praying so I like to think that maybe because I just want to see the best in people that this doesn't seem like it would be faked um and also the fact that it's walks not only through the wall at the very end but it walks like through the people like not just like in between them like through them and the people even there don't move at all if this is actually like a person in all black somehow that can run that fast also in such a fluid motion across the room that's creepy off the rails late one night brazilian youtuber balian and his friends set out to explore a vacant and supposedly haunted train station the railway depot has been abandoned for many years after a passing train violently derailed taking the lives of many passengers on board um. Locals say that late at night you can hear pleading voices and screams coming from the wreckage of the old train. The station is said to be cursed and visitors are warned to stay away. That's so sad. Balian and his friends split up to explore the area and they each record their experience. Oh no. Balian's friend and fellow YouTuber Isabella finds herself getting a little freaked out as she begins to hear unexplained noises coming from an abandoned house near the train station. Dude. What happens next? Chills her to the core. Tô voltando. Essa daqui é uma das casas, as primeiras que a gente entrou. Eu tô ouvindo algum barulho. something walks past the window inside an abandoned house near the train wreck. Isabella runs in fear and tries to warn her friends. Okay. First of all, I feel so bad for her because you can tell she's like crying. That would literally be me for whatever. Actually, no, that wouldn't be me because I wouldn't be there. But if I was for whatever fucking reason, um, I just felt like dying that day. I probably would end up crying just like her. So I feel so bad, especially seeing something like that. I'm a little like, I don't, because of her reaction, I can't see how she would be in on, like she's selling it if this is fake, you know what I mean? But um, she shown like she was shining a light through that window and yet the thing that she saw was still completely black and not even like a black where you see like, clothing like someone's wearing all black or wearing a costume or something like that like it the light did not reflect anything on that thing so girl i'm so sorry but you yeah i think you saw something meanwhile team members lucas and hockey are exploring another area when they too experience something terrifying oh no a it's a two-parter I would be freaked out too. Whoa! Wait, what happened? That was so fast. The two explorers Wait, run back happened? to the car, and the group agrees that they should just all get out of there. I agree. So, did they catch a real haunting at the abandoned train yard? Oh! Or is it all just an Oh, okay, so it looks like it either looks like a part of a window or it looks like a ladder is sitting on the other side of this little window hole and it moved. Um, that That's freaky. That's scary. Unholy. Okay, we're on a few months ago, I featured a very creepy paranormal investigation shared by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. Together with his nephew Eli, Dell investigated a church in Chester, South Carolina, 
that is over 200 years old. Churches in the there. early 1900s, the church is believed to have been the site of dark ritualistic ceremonies. Dell and Eli captured some very strange and horrifying paranormal activity inside the church. If there's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Dude. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Me? Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. What the f was that? Dude. Don't be church. Er, don't be cursing in the church of the. What? Did you used to play piano here? <gasps> okay. 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 Not gonna lie. This Right before this, the reflection in the distant either window or mirror or whatever, that one I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. That could literally just be their reflection and because it's dark, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like them, you know what I mean? That though, the dark f shadow peeking out, that's scary. Now, the Signs and Signals team, David and Dell, haven't been very active on YouTube in a while. That is, until one night, the two friends happened to drive past that same church in Chester, South Carolina. Ooh, okay. And they notice something very odd. A little update. They pull over and start to film. I got it, I got it. I don't know. Yeah, it's recording, it's recording. I don't know, for some reason, you see it? Yeah, it's a light. Oh. Is it a candle? I can't tell if it's a candle. I really don't want to get out. It looks like it. <laughs> it looks like a candle. It looks like it's a candle. Dude. I don't want to get Ain't out. Nobody's supposed to be here. There's no cars here. No. Uh, I swear to God, if something walks by Dale, that Dale. window. Come on. I don't know. Dale, Dale. Dude, it's a candle. Dude. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what the hell is that? No, 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 no. Dude. David and Dell see a lit candle at one of the church's windows, even though no one is supposed to be inside. Then suddenly they see a mysterious dark shape move quickly by the window. Now, David and Dell decide to just get out of there, but they say they wonder if they accidentally caught some sort of dark ritual going on inside the empty church. Oh. Just like the strange ceremonies held there over 100 years ago. That's a good point. It might not even be a ghost. It might just straight up be some people doing some sketchy stuff in the church. That's also very scary. Like I said, I don't want to go into abandoned places unless it's been double checked, locked down, and I'm with the team because... I don't want to be walking into some place and there be some crazy stuff going on. Like, there's some people out there that be doing some questionable things. And I don't want to be the one to find it. Interference. This next video was sent to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Adam Gamble. Okay, number he one. He says that the video was sent to him by a friend from work. Recently, the man's dog had developed a strange cough. So oh. one night, as his wife is laying in bed watching TV, the dog begins to cough and she starts to record so she can show it to the veterinarian. What she ends up recording, however, takes her completely by surprise. Oh no. Oh, that's weird. An unexplained shadow darts from right to left, right in front of the TV. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be part of the TV show that she's watching as it completely covers the main characters. The figure also seems to be crossing in front of the TV as it blacks out all light. Adam says that he hopes that someone might have an answer to just what this could be. Oh, I got an answer for you. That is a fucking ghost, dude. Ooh, ooh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, yes, this could be very easily faked. Quite literally, it could have just been a person running by. 
but that did scare me because I don't know what I was expecting to happen, but it wasn't that. That was a, like, a chunky figure just going across the TV like that. Ooh. Uh-uh, sir. Uh-uh. So what do you think it is? And no worries, their dog is well and doing fine. Oh, okay, yay. I'm glad that the dog's doing good. Okay. Sis. Okay, what? Mm, let's debrief. Alrighty, class. So what have we learned today? Um, don't go into abandoned buildings because you might either run into a ghost or an actual living being that could definitely kill you. I think the one that I agree with actually being a, a ghost, the one that I most am unlikely to argue against would be the one with the eight-year-old boy showing up at the car crash site. The fact that his story takes place in the same area with a very similar car and he passed away and everything and then it's literally a crime scene. Why would a little boy be within the wreckage? So I'm most inclined to believe that one. The one that probably scared me the most, I think that's pretty obvious, is the weird shed experience because even if, like I said, even if that is fake, that scared me half to death just because that shed looks terrifying. I don't know, like it just scared me. Honestly, I really enjoyed reacting to all of these. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think of all the different ones that we went over today? Which one do you think looks the most plausible and which one scared you the most? And make sure you check out Nuke's Top 5 on YouTube if you want to look at any of his videos. I have seen other reaction videos reacting to his compilations so I just knew that he was gonna have something interesting for me to react to. Also let me know in the comments if there's any like send me any videos you'd like me to react to. I had a good time. It was fun. I like watching these things as scared as I get. I actually do really like watching um like ghost caught on camera, paranormal caught on camera type stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Recommend me anything else you'd like me to react to. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.